Yeah, what up, guys? We back at it again with another video by DJ Mobile Auto Services. So we got a 2015 Feeler wagon in the shop, right? This car was towed over here because the customer said that he saw some reddish fluid on his tiles, and he also was hearing some grating noise come from under the hood, right? And he tried to put in the gear, but he was getting some erratic shifting, and you saw like um like it's very noisy again, right? Um, basically, I assess this car already, and it seems like you have a field transmission where the axle has a, a lot of play, and you will see some transmission fluid on the ground. So basically, what we got to do is pop off this inverter and drop the transmission, right? So there's a lot of work, right? So let's start this vehicle up and just see what symptoms he's getting when we start. Right, so with the key on, engine off, we're going to start this vehicle up. Hold on, let's take this radio off real quick. How do you take it off? Right, so let's um start the vehicle and he see what symptoms he's getting. Alright, so it starts right up. Right, we in park still. I'm gonna put it in a gear. Alright, see the lights flashing. In reverse, All right? So when we put it in reverse, we can the check light flashing. Put it in drive. All right? So the check light is flashing still. As I said, we, I'm not gonna drive it because you are hearing greater noise coming from the bearings. Seeing that this is a high voltage vehicle right which these orange lines represent before we do anything i gotta pop off the service tag no um, the lock which is under this the seat here once i pop that off i'm gonna leave it for a little bit and make sure that the vehicle de-energize before i do anything else pop off that service tag right here right um switch i'm gonna pop it down I'm gonna raise it up like this. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna keep this with me, right? To make sure that nobody, um, no one energizes up this car when I'm working. So once this, this stays in my pocket, right? Until the job is finished. Okay, so that's the first thing you do. You gotta make sure and remove this safety lock, right? This has a fuse in it, right? So once the fuse is out, it's act like a breaker. So once that out, you gotta worry about anything. You just need to de-energize a little bit, and I'll show you how to check that before you do anything, right? I'm um, sorry about the noise in the background. Got some other jobs going on, so let's move to the front of the vehicle. With the safety plug off, I can start to disassemble like this cross member bar, and um, you know I could probably just drain the coolant real quick, right? Um, I will, before I do anything, I have to take out the intermediate locks also. The cross member removed, I'm going to move the interlock um, covers, right? And as I said, I want to just do my checks real quick to make sure that that this um, battery is discharged in the back before I attempt to go into this, right? And as I said, in the meantime, I can start to drain the, the filter um, fluid and disconnect what I need to disconnect I'm gonna need, right pop off the axles drain the transmission oil so I gotta pop off these turn bolts here and just back them up release them up so I'm just releasing all these bolts on top of this cover I'm not taking them out I'm just releasing them So with that release, I'm going to take them back, take off these covers, I'm just going to replace the bolts. So when you lift this, this cover off, you have to lift this one off first. You cannot try to bend this back, right? So you got to lift this off first, and you see this yellow, this white tab here, this locks into that. That's, so this is one of the safety features, showing that when you remove this, it automatically kills the, the power. 
right so this is one of the interlocks here we're gonna release these bolts also here right and the same thing on this side so i'm gonna release all the bolts off this cover and move it out i'm gonna get my multimeter and just double check to make sure i'm not getting any voltage coming out from this port this is the one coming straight from the battery this is from mg1 and this is from mg2 all right so i gotta make sure that i'm not getting no voltage coming out from these um these cables right here all right so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this cover right you just gotta as i said you get the clip tool and you just gently remove them and the one is sorry about that the one that's on the the inverter coolant hose you just prise it off and you get to go all right so with the same tool or uh, flathead screwdriver you just get between this gray tab here and you just gently press on it and this tab will come up like this and you just once it comes up straight then you could pull this on this out that's why i released this cable here right and this this harness comes straight out right so you just lay this to the side like this out of the way and you're good to go you don't have to do anything else here right as i said i'm gonna release these bolts on top and pull back on the mg1 mg2 and the harness for the battery right and the next one that goes to the down to the east um transmission all right so you just come here you just lift, lift, lift the bolt like this all right, so this is U, V, and W. MG1, MG2. All right. You just pop that off. Just take your time and make sure that, you know, you don't fall. Remove this here, this tab. Just remove that like that and then you just wiggle this out and you pull this out if you want you can put tape on it but it's been discharged for a while so I'm just gonna press it to the side some people like to put tape on it and all that but good stuff but if, if you want you could put some tape on it just to be on the safe side matter of fact sorry for laying that touch let me get some tape or something like that too. just to secure make sure that it's cool right you don't have to right if you don't want to normally what I do is when I release these bolts here all right I get access to down the back bracket where I can remove it but that's just that's not doing anything it's been just charged for a while so we have no voltage going through it right now I ain't got to worry about that. Alright. So, as I said, I'm just, the ones that I took off before, I'm just going to rest it back in. So I make sure that it's secure. Alright. Let's give you a, get a close up real quick. Yeah, some might say, hey, why you don't got gloves on and all that good stuff? That's kind of overkill right now because the vehicle is, has been discharged. Alright, so with the two bolts removed from here from this plate inside here and two out here just just rock these back like this as i said it's been discharged matter of fact before i do that let's um take the stress off the cable by releasing this this tab under here real quick hold on real quick let me just get more pliers to get to it So you just lift this up like that. All right, so that just take the stress off this cable. All right, so you can just pull this back like this and just rest it to the side. Nothing's gonna happen, it's been discharged. I'm just resting it to the side. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is remove MG 
one and MG2 also, but also I can I gotta take off this uh, bracket in the back here that's holding on to this orange cable here. And as I said, once you remove it, you just put it back in place. So at least you know where it came from. So let's remove MG1. Now, in fact, to be on the safe side, we're going to take these off. Because one time I remember um, one had fell in. All is the same boat, so you can't mix it up. Same size boat. So just gonna take these out all the way. Okay, right, so I'm gonna just do the same thing again. Oh I'm sorry about that. All the same size boat, you can't mix it up. Alright, so you just Put it out, give it a nice little tug because we have the safety seal on it and rest it to the side. That's all you do. Alright, do the same thing to MG2. Just lock it a little bit, come straight out and rest it to the side. That's all you do. Alright, so there's one and two, they're out. Just make sure you don't get it damaged. Alright, so that's that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I can loosen these bolts here. It's just holding down the unit. Alright, let's do that. So now, I'm not releasing all the way, I'm just loosening it up. And I'm going to, I guess I'm going to go on the vehicle and I'm going to, got one in the back here, I got to disconnect also. Alright, so with the vehicle on jack stands, as I said, we don't have the luxury of having a lift. So we got to do it like this for now. I'm going to go on in the vehicle, drain the coolant, drain the transmission oil, and remove the inverter converter. Alright, so. I'm going to set you up underneath. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take off this um, under shield. Alright, so this plug here is for the inverter. Next one on the radiator is for the, the radiator. But if you want, you can put a clear hose here and just let it drain down. I could do that. Matter of fact, I might do that. But I think I might just still take this down because when I'm coming down the transmission, I don't want no obstruction. You dig? Actually, wow, this bearing is gone. Let's let me give you a close up real quick. You see, there is a shell bearing. This bear, this here is the bearing shell in the transmission. I came out good okay, right here. Wow, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Hold on, let me get access to it here. This this was inside the transmission. <laughs> so, yep. So the transmission definitely have to change. No ifs, no buts. And this was the side. Let's shake it. This was what it was getting. Look. So this was the client was getting when he came. And I, the whole axle is gone. So I don't know if the axle is still good. All you know, I will know is, and you see all the oil underneath that was leaking. Let me, let me just take a look. Here. You see all the oil? We're gonna drain the coolant from this line, which is the inverter. So let's crack it. Normally I just run out like a clear hose, but in this case we could just let it run. See if we can um, not 
too much here. That guy ain't bringing the tree down. So just leave it there, let it drain on its own. Right? And in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the transmission fluid out. Right? So I'm gonna start to disconnect things on top and yeah, take it from here. So the next thing we're gonna do is pop off the while the coolant is draining, pop off the discharge and suction for the in inverter. You just use a pick or a little position screwdriver, get under it, make sure you lift the tab up. Right, so this is the, the second hole that you gotta just get under. Let's raise it up real quick. All right, make sure the tab is up. And just get it. Right, so you can make sure it's up and then as I said you just pop it off a little bit and make sure no coolant goes into this area right to be on the safe side if you want you can just rest a, a rag on it right just to make sure nothing falls in nothing breaks all right so right now we're gonna, we're gonna pop the tires off and we're gonna pull the axles out right while I'm on top we're moving the inverter Right, so this is the axle we gotta pop out. Sometimes it take a little precision to get it out, so you get it done. All right, so we gotta get a bigger gun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he finally got one to work. <laughs> Chris mucking up with that um, impact. I'm gonna continue to disconnect. So I need to disconnect to pull the inverter out, right? So what else do I need to do to get him out? Actually, he's almost out. So I'm just gonna double check all my connections, make sure it's all clear before I lift him out. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the bolts on the inverter. The hold on bolts. All right, one. That, that's the next one. Try not to mix the bolts up. All right. As I said, Chris is at the bottom there, sorting out the, popping out the axles. All right, while I'm on top here, working on the inverter. Right, so right now it's loose. Right, so before I lift it up, I'm gonna just check to make sure everything is good. So the next thing we're gonna do is pop the fuse cover off like this. I might just put this to the side. All right, so we gotta get this out because these cables run in here, right? So I'm just gonna slide straight up. So we have some cables coming from the inverter right to go to the battery side so i'm gonna disconnect that and then once i disconnect that right we'll be able to pull this this out what you gotta do next is just pop this little tab up pull this cable out right on this corner has a little tab here and this little tab you just pull it back up a little bit and you slide this out like this all right so you, once you get this protection off right you use a if you want to use an impact or something like that, you could, but you could just pop it off like this. And that comes with, that comes out with the inverter, right? You can just rest the, the bolt, the nut back on, so you don't lose it, right? So it's ready to go. So that whole, that whole thing comes straight out, right? So um, this could stay like that for now because you're not going to touch this. And let's see what else we could um, remove before we pull this out so everything else is removed before i lift this out right so what you're going to do is just make sure all the cables are off all the hoses release right and you just hoist it up make sure nothing is holding back right, just lift this out like this right so we got the inverter out so we just want to secure it and make sure that 
nothing goes into it, nothing damage it. And then, well, we'll pull it back up after we replace the transmission.